Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is April 5th, 2020. This is my ninth episode about the programming language C++ 20 standard. In this episode, I will explain how to implement C++ standard template library or STL, especially make integer sequence and make index sequence. I will implement type libraries listed here. For more information, please double click this link. In C14, class integer sequence was introduced. If we scroll down, we can find the definition index sequence, make integer sequence, make index sequence, index sequence for. In future episode, I will also explain how to implement std apply. In near future, I will explain how to use this standard template library. In this episode, please pay special attention to these terms. Template, parameter, template, arguments, primary, template, explicit specialization. I will repeat these terms several times in future episodes. I will post this script in the description section below this video. If you haven't watched my previous episode, please double click this link. If you are new audience to this series of videos, you probably have to watch episode 00 episode 01, episode 02, and have to install latest version of C++ compilers and have to make proper system environment variable settings. Otherwise, you may not be able to follow my current and future sessions. If you scroll down, episode 08 is our previous episode. Please double click this link to download the source code from our previous episode. Show in folder, unzip it, right click, rename it, episode 09, make integer sequence. Hit enter, double click it. We can delete this file, right click, new, text document sequence dot cpp yes copy the folder paste it to your working folder now start visual studio code open your working folder double click sequence Ctrl V include talk play fun types dot HPP include IO stream include utility for STD integer sequence or C out STD C out or and L std and there character std character trace character or ln namespace talk play fun types end of namespace talk play fun types namespace types talk play fun types void test add sequence this is function copy the function name int main paste it here now here template type name t t ins struct integer sequence static 
context pair std size t size this is a static member context pair this is return type return size of ins don't forget semicolon here t type template parameter ins non type variadic template parameter t is type ins is non type ins type is t i will discuss non type variadic templates further in some future episode i will explain more about type template parameter and non type template parameter in near future so please bear with me for the time being we defined integer sequence now namespace hidden end of namespace hidden this is for internal type functions now template type name t1 type name t's struct st add sequence this is primary template primary template determines the number of template arguments we can initialize template parameters in the primary template primary template does not need to have its definition body so this is primary template declare the first primary template determines the number of template arguments template parameter template parameter this is variadic template this is one and this is zero or more so this class template can take one or more of template arguments i will change it to just t t type template parameter ts type variadic template parameter or type parameter pack please remember these terms this is type template parameter this int is non type variadic template parameter or non type parameter pack this is type template parameter this t type name ts ts is type variadic template parameter what type parameter pack please compare type parameter pack with non type parameter pack now template type name t t ins 1 t ins 2 struct i will copy this paste it here we provide integer sequence t ins 1 integer sequence t ins 2 don't forget semicolon here using type integer sequence t ins 1 we have to expand ins 
to we have to expand now let's review this part this is one type we defined integer sequence here so this is one type this is one type one two two template arguments this is primary template this is explicit specialization in case of specialization we have to provide template argument template argument we provide one argument two argument because primary template can take one or more arguments so we provide two arguments this is integer sequence the type is defined to be integer sequence t please understand that integer sequence can take one type argument and zero or more of non-type arguments so one type one type arguments and zero or more of non-type arguments t type template parameter ins one non-type template parameter ins two non-type template parameter here integer sequence one template argument integer sequence one template arguments so in total two template arguments this is primary template this is an explicit specialization template type name t t ins struct sd add sequence integer sequence t ins don't forget semicolon here using type integer sequence t ins t type template parameter ins non type template parameter this is an explicit specialization sd the sequence can take one or more type arguments so we provide one this is one type arguments we have to match the number of arguments between primary template and explicit specialization we have to match the count of template arguments between the primary template and its explicit specialization now scroll down template type name seq type 1 type name seq type 2 using add sequence t 
key, type name, add sequence, sequence, type 1, sequence, type 2. It has member type. Member type is integer sequence. Now, I will copy this part, paste it here, copy it, paste it here, delete type, hidden. So, we are calling this alias template. This is called alias template or using template. Now we will test this as a sequence like this. Using sequence 1 types integer sequence int 0 1 2 using sequence 2 types integer sequence int 3 4 5 this integer sequence is defined here it can take one type and zero or more none type so one type argument zero or more none type arguments now using sequence three we call this type function like this seq one seq two don't forget types c out seq three Talk, play, fun, get type name, SEQ3, and there. Please understand that we created talk, play, fun, get type name here. We defined this macro in episode 4. If you haven't watched this video, how to convert type name to string using decal type function C pretty function, please double click this link. In this video, we defined talk play fun get type name and talk play fun get type category. Now I will close it. Start command prompt. DIR CD 009 make integer sequence CL EHSC SDD C latest sequence dot CPP FE M dot EXE hit enter CLS M. So sequence one, sequence two. We generated integer sequence int 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can compare like this using std1 std integer sequence int 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See out std1 talk play fun get type name std1 and there we filled again cls m so this is a standard library this is our own library right before end of namespace talk play fun types template type name T. This is type template parameter T N. N is non-type template parameter T S. 
S is non-type template parameter. Struct SD make sequence. Don't forget semicolon here. Using type add sequence T. We are calling this function integer sequence T S. Type name. We call this type function like this. T N S minus 1 type. Please understand that we are calling ST make sequence. We decrease S minus 1 and does not change. This type is recursive. Primary template. Now we make specialization template type name T T N struct. I copy this face T N N primary template determines the number of template arguments. It takes one type to non-type arguments. So one type to non-type arguments. This is specialization. Here using type integer sequence T N. Please note that N this N this N is equals S which is N. Okay? So N N means two non types are equal. Then we define this integer sequence. Sorry, sorry. It should increase. Now here, template type name T T N using make sequence. Type name we call this face T N zero type. So N is this non-type argument. Zero is for S. So it becomes zero initially. Zero. This becomes zero plus one, so one. It is called recursively. Then we add a sequence using this type function. Now scroll down. From here, cut. Paste it here. I will indent like this. Now here, template, type name, T, T, N. I will copy this part, paste, copy this. Faced hidden. We will remove this. We are calling this type function void test make sequence using SEQ one types make sequence int 5 
we are calling this type function c out s equal one talk play fun get type name s equal one and there copy this function name copy paste it here disable it we build again clsm so using this make sequence value is 5 so integer sequence 0 1 2 3 4 5 we have to decrease 1 here we will change it to minus 1 t 0 I have to fix like this here we try with std size t let's build once again clsm so when we provide 5 0 1 2 3 4 this is correct behavior now using std 1 std make integer sequence int 5 i would say std size t c out std 1 talk play fun get type name std 1 and there now we build again clsm so this is integer sequence using std this std this make integer sequence 0 1 2 3 4 this seq1 0 1 2 3 4 so this type function and this type function works exactly the same here i will change the name here make integer sequence i fixed the name copy paste 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 i changed the name to make it identical with the standard library clsm now scroll up here template type name t t n sorry std size t n using index sequence integer sequence std size t n scroll down copy paste std size t copy paste paste make index sequence now scroll down using idx1 types make index sequence i will copy once again copy Paste, copy, paste, paste. SDD, size T, N. We are calling this function. Five. 
using std idx1 std make index sequence 5 I say type I fixed the name like this see out typ idx1 talk play fun get type name typ idx1 and there copy paste std std now we build once again clsm so typ idx1 integer sequence unsigned int 64 0 1 2 3 4 integer sequence unsigned int 0 1 2 3 4 they are identical so i implemented make index sequence make integer sequence now scroll up template type name types using make index for make index sequence size of types now here using index for t types make index for int float double using std index t std make index for index sequence for index sequence for int float double I will change its name also here now see out index for t talk play fun get type name index for t copy paste std index std index now we build once again clsm so integer sequence integer sequence 0 1 2 0 1 2 it works correctly up to this point we implemented integer sequence index sequence make integer sequence make index sequence index sequence 4 so we implemented some c++ standard type functions now let's compile it with the gnu compiler gir cd009 make integer sequence g plus plus std c plus plus 2a sequence dot cpp ltvv ltv ilme lloc proxy o g dot exe i will make it bigger hit enter cls g gnu compiler also works successfully now clan compiler c.exe it should be clan hit enter clan also works i understand this episode is a little bit advanced but don't worry i will explain all the details in future sessions
I will upload complete source code to my website. By the time you watch this video, you can double click this link and download the complete source code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.